All right. Um, here we go. We know the old saying basically is that we are what we eat. And if this is true, then what happens when our livid, as I refer to it, not a diet, consists of mainly genetic altered foods. Uh, we know that genetic altered foods is one of the most dangerous things that they have put before us on this planet, a legend that there is a food crisis and a famine, food famine, which is all a lie. And they are claiming that there is over population, which is also a lie. You can take 7 billion people, put them in the state of Texas, and they would still have about two acres of land apiece, just in one state. Anytime that you can fly and you can see all the empty land space, then you know that they're lying about how many people there are on planet Earth. And not just how many people, but how many people is actually consuming products, as well as also how many people have land ties, all right? So in order to grow crops, of course, you need land. So uh, we want to talk about that. We want to talk about the foods in which that uh, we need, which is, of course, non-GMO food, organic food. That is what we need, all right? So um, in the movie Matrix, Morpheus held up a door cell battery to illustrate the level to which people have been reduced. And they was talking about what is the matrix control? The matrix is a computer generated dream world built to keep us under control in order to change a human being into this. And he holds up a Duracell battery. And he tells Neo that this is all we are to them. So we know that a battery needs to be alkaline. Your body is a battery. Melanin is a battery. The photonic energy in which that change places with the electrons, the photons and electrons plays a marriage, a sexual marriage in which that we are able to absorb light is also referred to as negative ions. So what we find out is that 75% of your water um, in your body there's 75% water, just like this 75% water or three-fourths of water on the planet Earth. So water must be alkaline, all right? Your pH balance must be between 7.2 to 7.4 pH. pH means power hydrogen. At this power hydrogen balance, no disease can exist in the human body. Hence, your food must mostly be alkaline too. At least 75% of 25% acidic food must be alkaline, alkaline food or electrical food. The highly alkaline foods are lemons, limes, key limes in particular, water, watermelon, cantaloupes, grapefruits, mangoes, papayas, broccoli, garlic, onions, and almonds, of course. Um, Dr. Savy don't do too much with garlic, but I do because I was taught by um, Dr. Layla Africa as well as also taught and trained by um, um, Dr. Paul Goss. All right, if you ever heard of of um, of his products, then you know exactly who I'm talking about. But here we have. These foods here. All right. As you see here, most alkaline foods, also stevia, as we said, lemon, watermelon, limes, grapefruit, mangoes, papayas, um, asparagus, onions, vegetable juice, juices, um, parsley, raw spinach, um, broccoli, garlic, olive oil. All right, herbal teas, lemon water. Alkaline, maple syrup, rice syrup, date syrup, dates, figs, 
melons, grapes, papaya, kiwi, berries, apples, pears, raisins, okra, squash, green peas, beets, celery, lettuce, zucchini, sweet potatoes, carrot, almonds, flaxseed oil, breast milk, green tea. The lowest alkaline is raw honey, raw sugar, oranges, bananas, cherries, pineapples, peaches, avocados, carrots, tomatoes, fresh corn, mushrooms, cabbage, peas, potato skins, olives, soybeans, which you won't have too much of soy um, in particular, um, only out of necessity if that's the case, but amaranth, mullet, wild rice, quinoa, ginger tea, all right? Um, everything else as far as the soy can be left alone. Even some of the products which are acidic, such as even these foods, for example, um, molasses, um, plums, sour cherries, rhubarb, blueberries, cranberries, prunes, chocolate, cooked spinach, kidney beans, string beans, navy beans, uh, pinto beans, lima beans, peanuts, walnuts, pecans, cashews, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, all right, um, even buckwheat, oats, rye, um, spelt wheat bread, spelt brown rice, um, those things can be utilized. Everything else is detrimental um, on a acidic chart list, as we see here, which is nothing but meats, cheeses, breads, um, milk, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But here we have some superfoods: bee pollen, pea populus, royal jelly, royal jelly. All right, spirulina, corella, wild blue. Green algae, nori, sea moss, kelp, dulce, arami, um, wakami, uh, Campbell, barley seeds, um, grass, uh, barley grass, wheat grass, moringa, green leafy vegetables, um, alfalfa, goji berries, aki berries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, mango steam, um, yes. Nori, noni, raw coca, ginger, macaroon, nettle, turmeric, golden seal, dandelion, echinacea, chia seeds, um, flax seeds, um, hemp seeds, and etc. These are some of the superfoods that um, are out and which that is spoken of nowadays. All right, so these superfoods help to eliminate waste from out the body, heavy metals from out the body, and toxins from out the body. We're being sprayed continuously. All right, we're being sprayed continuously. Everybody's talking about Trump and how he's going to save us from the vaccines, but yet during the same time that Trump been in the administration, we've still been seeing chemtrails in the sky. So people are delirious and delusional. All right, so the sky is being sprayed. It's called chemtrails, not contrails, which dissipates in the moments after release from jets. Chemtrails, however, do not dissipate and spreads out and produce a haze, which is called a chem dome. Now the chemtrails work in conjunction with the harp system, which is now not just the harp system, high Oreo advanced research project. Um, it is also the woodpecker as well as also um, other weather modification weapon trees in which that has been located in North America in South America. Jet sprays, um, chemtrails consistent of barium, aluminum, strontium, potassium mixture, but in particular aluminum, which is in the stratosphere, 
These controls are used to reflect and absorb or reflect the rays of the sun and to absorb radio and electromagnetic frequencies that are induced by the heart and reflected back into the ionosphere. And doing so, this activity is used to push and pull jet streams, which alter weather patterns. This manipulation can result in all sorts of different weather patterns, including storms, droughts, extreme weather, heat, etc. HARP technology for weather modification in conjunction with chemtrails use the ionosphere and particulate matter in the stratosphere chemtrails to reflect energy, solar energy that is back and forth in order to control jet streams, which in turn causes the desired weather patterns. Now, the reason why we're talking about this is real simple because we need to be able to, as farmers, to control basically the outcome of the weather patterns and for what we need. We don't need for them to control our crop system for us. So uh, one of the things in which that we would want to do is get a solar paneled um, greenhouse in order to um, use or either grow our crops inside the home, which you can use an actual um, plastic bag, a trash bag actually with um, manure or in particular um, dirt in which that you can actually buy from Lowe's or Home Depot, et cetera, et cetera. All right. And you can begin to start growing crops right now. In particular, you'll be able to start growing crops such as tomatoes, onions, broccoli. Right now, during this time period, it would be mustard greens, collard greens. All right, all of this can be grown, grown, grown right now, all right? So, and see chemtrails, which is geoengineering sprayed in the atmosphere daily is one of the most blatant tools of our worldwide pop depopulation control agenda. Particles of aluminum, barium, and bacteria spores, et cetera, increases the risk of skin lesions, Alzheimer's, dementia, heart disease, high blood pressure, lung cancer, asthma attack, and other respiratory illnesses, and et cetera. This is actually what is causing what they refer to now as the coronavirus. All right, so we got Professor Edward um, um, Trifonov speaks on the use of wind to deliver germs to the targeted country, so to appear natural. This is in a book called Gene Wars, Military Control Over the New Genetic Technology by Pillar and um, Yamamoto. All right, so we know that this is laying out right things in which that they're doing. And we ourselves have to keep a step above them and master everything there is to know concerning our health and our bodies. Therefore, God say the Holy Trinity exists in you esoterically, not just exoterically, but you also exist in God, just like the ocean is in a fish, while at the same time, the fish is in an ocean. All right, and to say that is to get into the science of the herbs in which that All right, these are our herbs, which is called the Healing Wings Herbs or Ancestral Blend. Um, all Healing Wings Herbs, um, you can get them in powder form or in cut leaf or root form. So we say, let your medicine be your, um, let your food, let your medicine be your food and your food be your medicine. All right, now that makes a whole lot of sense when you come to the fact that based on your blood type, we find that foods that are beneficial has medicinal purposes for you and your blood type. 
So it's really important to find out your blood type and your client's blood, blood type so that you can develop the most potent herb brew mixture for them. All right? To develop the most potent herbal mixture for them. So that the saying, let your food be your medicine and your medicine be your food, can be true. Now that it can. However, if different blood types are getting, um, like for example, O blood type, O blood type um, do not do very well with avocados. Do not do well with avocados. Right? What is beneficial for O blood type would be bananas. So they would make foods that have bananas. In particular, the burrow bananas, little small bananas, clustered bananas that actually are um, cherries, not cherries, but berries. These are, these are actually berries, all right? Bananas are actually berries, these small bananas. Not the large dollar bananas, all right, but the burrow bananas uh, works best. But these are very, have much um, 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 beneficial um, benefits for the old blood type, all right? While eggplants um, does not have municipal purposes for old blood type. In fact, um, these particular um, eggplant in particular is acidic for blood type O. Okay. A B blood type does not do well with avocados either or bananas. They do best with grapes and plums. And plums is one of the only fruits in which that all four major blood types can eat. Whether you A, B, A, B, or O blood type, whether you positive or negative, it doesn't matter. Plums is one of the only fruits and grapes is behind it in which that most of the, that all of the blood types can eat. Grapes are close, just like plums in which that um, most of the blood types can eat. But really, the only fruit that I found in which that all blood types have a beneficial positive effect from is our plums. Next are grapes. All right. So this goes to show us that there is some more um, science that we need to work on when it comes to these herbs. So it says, behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of the earth. Genesis 129. So this is, these, these albions is going directly against the scriptures where it says, I've given you every herb bearing seed. So if it doesn't bear seeds, then they have these farmers going against the nature of God and they don't care because they're getting money. So many herbs, vegetables, perennials are mentioned in the Bible. People who lived in times past were knowledgeable herbalists. They used the herbs not only for food, but to flavor food and also for municipal purposes. The Bible mentions 128 plants that was part of everyday life in ancient Africa, Egypt, Phoenicia, Canaan, Israel, and the surrounding areas. Right. Number one, we would say is alfalfa. Alfalfa is one of the most powerful herbs in the herbal kingdom. Cause the roots go 30 feet down into the ground, into the earth, picking up essential nutrients, minerals in the soil. It has eight essential digestive enzymes and eight essential amino acids of protein, which are the building blocks of life. It is also an excellent blood purifier and is used for allergies, anemia, um, appetite, arthritis, bursitis, cramps, diabetes, digestion, gout, morning sickness, lupus as a matter of fact, nausea, um, the, the pituitary gland, stomach, and ulcers, right? This is how 
Alfalfa looks. I hope you get get a closer view here. That's alfalfa. All right. Next is astragalus. Astragalus. Astragalus root is um excellent for energy, infections, and metabolistic. Uh, uh um or metabolic um functions it is used for genital herpes kidneys disease heart disease enhance the immune system flu and respiratory infection so this is also very good in order to keep healthy um during this time of the coronavirus Right next is bee pollen. Right, bee pollen has a is very highly nutritive value and is a good source for quick energy. It's excellent for allergies, hay fever, hypoglycemic, um, asthma, prostate gland endurance, stamina, vitality, longevity. Right, and we also take pride on the fact that our bee pollen do not come from Monsanto's terminated seed plants. All right. Um, next, we have blue black cohosh, excellent for women, um, excellent woman herb. It is also used to ease labor pains, menstrual cramps, um, uterine problems, female hormone balance, calms the nerve, dropsy, um, asthma, high blood pressure, and circulation equalizer. It neutralizes poisons in the bloodstream. Right, blue, black cohosh, black walnut, get rid of and neutralizes poisons in the bloodstream. All right. And this is black walnut here. It's excellent for all skin problems, rashes, boils. Uh, poisons, IV, worms, ringworms, and parasites. In conjunction with wormwood, cloves, and garlic, it can cure cancer. No matter what stage cancer is, one, two, three, and four. The powder may be used for brushing the teeth to restore the enamel, prevent tooth decay, and genovitis. Right next is what we call bladder rack, sea plant, bladder rack, bladder rack. Is good for a person who have iodine deficiency, goiter, uh, want to soften the skin, um, throat irritations, weight loss, softens mucous membranes, thyroid gland. Right, any problem with the thyroid gland, whether it's hypo or hyperthyroidism, it can be cured by eating bladder wrap. All right, next is burdock. Burdock is one of the most powerful blood purifiers in the herbal kingdom. It's excellent for skin diseases, swelling, rheumatism, arthritis, joint, gout, lungs, and kidney problems. Right? It is also one of the herbs in which that Dr. Savy uses in his formula of Irish moss blend. You have Irish sea moss, you have bladder rack, which we just made mention of, and burdock. Those three gives you all 102 minerals that your body needs on a daily basis. All right. All right, next you have um, Cascara um, Sagrada, a Sagrada, um, which is Cascara um, Sagrada is actually um, the best herbal laxative, all right? I've used many laxatives. Um, Aloe Ferrox is the only one in which that can compare to Casa Negrata. Um, but as being the best laxative, this is needed at least once a week. It is mainly used for chronic constipation and colon related problems. It is not habit forming and should be taken on an empty stomach. 
It is good taking upon retiring at bed at night. It is also helps to relax and soothe the whole digestive system. Um, so as soon as you wake up in the morning, within the first 45 minutes, you will go to the bathroom, but it's not like diarrhea. It is simply removing all the waste from out of your digestive system in which that um, you ate from the day prior to. It also stimulates secretions of the liver, pancreas, and stomach. It has been used to eliminate gallstones, hemorrhoids, and nervous disorders. All right, next is cayenne pepper, which is called red pepper. It increases energy, effectiveness of other herbs when mixed. So you can take cayenne pepper and mix it with the herbs that, like I said earlier, in which that would be real useful in order to get rid and cure cancer. Um, we spoke about the herbs, black walnut, cloves, garlic, chamomile, I would add in there, along with wormwood and red clover. Adding cayenne pepper to it helps to get those herbs to those parasites and worms and bacteria and viruses in which that not supposed to be in your body that is successfully in your body and move those toxins from out your body is an excellent remedy for colds, flus, um, hemorrhoids, infections, childhood diseases, rheumatoid, um, rheumatism, arthritis, diabetes, high blood pressure, ulcers, cuts, wounds, varicose veins, poor circulation, heart stimulant, asthma, bronchitis, and digestion. So cayenne pepper can actually, if you take it and a person is having a heart attack, you can put it on their tongue or either in the palm of their hand and it will stop a heart attack within 30 seconds. It can also stop a stroke, such as a brain, um, a brain vessel um, blowing in the head, which is known as, um, what's the name of it? Uh, Dr. Khalid Mohammed had an aneurysm. So if we can stop an aneurysm and a stroke from occurring by simply um, taking cayenne pepper. Of course, cayenne pepper is known to stop hemorrhaging, stop blood, remove clots, stop heart attacks. Cayenne pepper should be in your arsenal and you should take cayenne pepper everywhere you go. Okay. I know I did for years, and we still have it in our room right now. Next is chaparral. It's one of the best herbal antibiotics. It destroys bacteria, viruses, and parasites. This is another one in which that is needed during this time period. When combined with red clover, it can rid the body of growth and tumors by purifying the blood. All right. It is also an excellent remedy for eyesight, acne, allergies, uh, rheumatism, arthritis, boil use, skin problems, prostate gland, cancers, and etc. Next is chamomile. It's an excellent cleanser for all drug withdrawal. It's used for expelling worms, parasites, and eliminating childhood diseases such as mumps, measles, chicken pox. This is also another good one for this time period. It prevents colds, flus, swellings, and inflammation. It soothes headaches, migraines, toothaches, earaches, and all pains. It is good for wounds, insomnia, nervous disorders, and digestive disorders. All right. Next is chickweed. It liquefies and removes mucus from the respiratory tract. Chickweed is a number one stunner right now for this COVID. Number one stunner right now is co is is for the COVID would be chickweed and mullen, chickweed and mullen, right? But right here, chickweed particularly helps to liquefy and remove mucus from the respiratory tract. Therefore, it's excellent for treating asthma, bronchitis, overall lung conditions. It helps to dissolve fats, 
um, in the body by removing waste, toxins, and poisons. It is commonly used as a blood purifier, thus it helps to prevent cancer. It is good for skin problems, itching, acne, boils, rashes, canker sores, mouth sores, sore throat. It acts as a sexual enhancer and improves circulation. It prevents impotency, sterility, and frigidity. Chickweed is one of the herbs that you would use in your uh, formula for male enhancement and female enhancement. Corella is the superfood. It's the richest chlorophyll plant on the planet. There's no other plant in which that has more green in it. And green means more magnesium. More magnesium means less heart problems. In fact, no heart problems. Clinical studies and medical researchers have shown that toxins such as arsenic, mercury, lead, pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, fungicides, cadmium, uranium, PCB, radioactive material, etc., has been successfully detoxified from the human body by taking corella, cell wall binding to and absorbing these toxins substances and then escorting them safely out the body. These toxins commonly found in nearly everything we eat, ingest, touch, and breathe creates various diseases and disorders, including allergies, skin reactions, blood pressure problems, um, diabetes, fi uh, fibromyalgia, and cancer, etc. The other healing properties and healing benefits of Corella has been reported to treat the following. Look at all this that it does. Allergies, asthma, anemia, colds, cold flu, flu, bad breath, body odor, um, burns, wound healing, right? pariah, which is bleeding up the gums and loose teeth, pneumonia, PMS, hem um, herpes, simplex, stress, eczema, jet lag, depression, chronic fatigue syndrome, and Epstein-Barr virus syndromes, mononucleus, right? Candia problems, seizures, hormone imbalance, with, withdrawn from drug addiction, alcohol hangover prevention, detoxification, liver toxicity, bowel and colon toxicity, constipation, cholesterol, osteocerosis, pancreatics, peptide, peptic ulcers, um, dudendal ulcers, gastric or gastritis, um, heart disease, cancer, antiviral, gout, arthritis, obesity, sciatic, sinuses, and nasal congestion, emphysema, HIV, AIDS, degenerative illnesses associated with aging, Alzheimer's, attention disorder deficiency, or attention deficiency disorder, depends on the way you say ADD, growth and development of child. So this is very powerful herb. Is Corella very powerful? Right, next we have comfrey, which some say don't take it internally, just use it externally. All right. I know people who have used it internally and had no problem. I am one, but one of the most viable herbs known to herbalists. It heals infections, wounds, imaging, knit fraction fractures and bone broken bones it is excellent for arthritis rheumatism lungs asthma bronchitis pneumonia inflammation sore throats hoarseness tonsillitis sinus congestion mucus membrane it is also good for digestive disorders it acts as a mild laxative removing waste from the colon preventing diarrhea it has 18 amino acids which are the building blocks of life called protein 
Damiana is one of the most powerful plants used to restore the natural sexual capacity and function in women and men. It is used for energy, longevity, sexual stimulant, prostate gland, hormonal balance, infertility, impo and, um, impotency, female problems, frigidity, hot flashes, menopause. It is also good for bronchitis, emphysema, asthma, senility, Parkinson's disease, and etc. Next is dandelion. Dandelion is one of my favorites. It's a viable survival plant that contains all 12 nutritive blood, tissue, muscle salts necessary for the body to purify itself. Dandelion acts as a natural tonic to the whole bodily system. It destroys acid in the blood. Therefore, dandelion is an excellent blood purifier and blood builder. It stimulates the liver to detoxify poisons and kidneys to eliminate waste. It is one of the most safest plants and therefore may be used in the, um, basically in the tea for babies and children, all right? Some of the other herbs in which that does that is catnip and chamomile. Trisha can take these herbs with no problem. It is used for childhood diseases such as measles, mumps, chicken pox, and other ailments such as insomnia, kidney, bladder, gall, bladder, pancreas, ailments and dis digestive disorders. It helps to heal anemia, bronchitis, constipation, diabetes, cancer, gallstones, gout, jaundice, psoriasis, tonsillitis, skin problems, flu, fractions, heartburn, reflex disease, boils, and etc. Right. We have Don Kwai. This is the queen of all herbs for women. It may be used for nearly every female issue or problem. It helps to eliminate the pain of menstruation. It helps to dissolve blood clots. It is used for, and remember, this is one of the reasons for what is taking place right now with the, co with the COVID, is that COVID causes blood clots. Well, Don Kwai dissolves blood clots. So this is one of the arsenals in which that can be used right now. It is used for hormone balance, hot flashes, menopause, nervous disorders, skin problems, fatigue, insomnia, cramps, anemia, and etc. All right, next is echinacea. According to Dr. Paul Gauss, grandmaster herbalist and author of The Rebirth of the Gods and also my teacher, Echinacea is the king of the blood purifiers. It acts as an antibiotic, so it acts real well with garlic, as well as also with chaparral. It is one of the best um, cleansers for the lymphatic system, and it stimulates the body's natural immunity. In other words, it enhances the immune defense system and increases the production of white blood cells to eliminate waste, toxins, and poisons in the lymph nodes and blood um, stream. It is used for wounds, boils, carbuncles, infections, um, poison ivory and oak, insect bites, skin, um, snake bites, venereal diseases, and improves the function of the prostate gland and uterus. Next is eyebright. It stimulates the liver to cleanse the blood. It has been used for all kinds of eye ailments. All right, and has been known to improve the eyesight by strengthening the eyes. So what you would do, simply make it into a tea and you would actually um, take a dropper and actually take a few drops and put in your eyes. Eye bright will strengthen the eyes. It can um, eliminate cataracts, glaucoma, improve the vision if you're nearsighted or farsighted. It's a blood cleanser. It helps with diabetes, digestive disorders, liver stimulant, memory, and et cetera. Next is fenugreek. Excuse me, brother. Yes. Uh, am I am I supposed to be seeing anything on the uh, on the screen? Yes, you can't see it. Oh shit. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, all right. It, it, it just came up just now. Yeah, it just it just went black just for like two seconds. I just it, but it, it just came up just now. Okay, came back up. 
All right. Can you see it now, Finu Greek? Yes. Okay. Finu Greek, it is also intestinal lubricant and is healing for sores, reflex, disease, and ulcers called leaky gut in the stomach, colon, small and large intestine. It helps to eliminate, expel mucus from the, from the sinuses and prevent headaches and migraines. It is excellent as a poultice for wounds and inflammation. All right, so if you have wounds, which is external on your skin, um, wounds and inflammation, you can actually take fenugreek, mix it with water or some type of um, other carrying agent, such as olive oil or et cetera, make it into a paste and put it on your skin and it will heal. Wrap it with a gauze. All right, like you said, garlic. It's one of the natural antibiotics that detoxifies and rejuvenates all parts of the body. It is very effective against bacteria, viruses, parasites, and worms. It is used for fever, yeast infection, colds, childhood disease, digestive disorders, contagious disease, um, diseases, um, cholesterol issues, circulation issues, blood pressure issues, diabetes, cancer, heart, Prostate gland, uterus, vagina, which you can actually um, use garlic as a douche um, for for um, for assistance, as far as your clients are concerned. In order to get rid of um, chlamydia, get rid of yeast infections, and etc. Right. And then you have ginger, acts as a um, an acid and prevents stomach ulcers. It is used for digestive disorders. Childhood diseases, colds, flus, gas, uh, morning sickness, nausea, nervous disorders, and sinus congestion. It improves the condition of the lung to prevent bronchitis, asthma, and pneumonia. Once again, this is very good in this time. So they was already saying that in order to prevent COVID, you will want turmeric. Turmeric cousin is ginger. So both of them together will help prevent COVID. Ginkgo biloba, it increases oxygen and, and blood circulatory, circulatory flow to the brain and other extremities. It helps to eliminate stress, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, dementia, senility, and et cetera. It is other used for hearing loss, memory loss, tendinitis, prevention of stroke, dizziness, impotency. All right, next we have ginseng. It's the king of tonics in the herbal kingdom. It stimulates the whole body and slows down the aging process. Thus, it promotes longevity. Ginseng strengthens the endocrine glands. It has been used for sex stimulant, hormone balance, circulatory issues, relief of depression, prevents diabetes, heart problems, swollen, prostate swollen, and nerve damage, et cetera. All right, next is golden seal. This is the herbal cure-all. If you don't know what's going on in your body, you just know that something is and the doctors don't know what it is, then you take golden seal. The natural penicillin of the herbal kingdom is antibiotic actions is very similar to tetracycline and streptococcomycin. It is excellent whenever a problem arises in the body. It is definitely the herb to use when you do not know what other herb to take. It is used to heal eyes. So you can take this and make this into an eye drop and take it and put it in your eyes and it will also heal the eyes. Chicken pox on the skin burns. Um, skin disease, um, infection, liver problems, digestive problems. All right, ulcers, bronchitis, diabetes, cancer, and et cetera. All right, um, next you have Guadacola. Guadacola goes excellent with ginkgo. Balaba, as we just seen, is excellent brain food. It's good for energy, 
fevers, inflammation, stress, mental fatigue, nerves, high blood pressure, epilepsy, and etc. So a person needs something for brain issues, then of course ginkgo, balaba, and, and guala would be, along with ginseng, would be what we call the three Gs. That is what we refer to as the three Gs. And next is hawthorn berry is excellent for heart problems, blood pressure, whether low or high, nervous disorders, fatigue, poor circulation, emotional stress, insomnia, arthritis, rheumatism, kidneys, and miscarriages, and etc. All right, hawthorn berry is excellent for the heart. Matter of fact, garlic, hawthorn berry, and cayenne pepper blended together is an excellent heart healer. Hops. Hops is a natural tonic. Of course, hops is in most beers. Beer is made from hops. Natural tonic to help calm an effect on the nervous system and the heart. It is used to heal, um, ease earaches, toothaches, headaches, migraines, insomnia, nightmares, blood um, bed wetting, women um, morning sickness, digestive disorders. All right, digestive disorders, um, ulcers. It eliminates parasites. So hops uh, works excellent with chamomile, black walnut, cloves, wormwood, garlic to help get rid of parasites, worms, bacteria, and viruses. It improves the function of the liver. Next is horsetail. It strengthens the hair, fingernails, and teeth enamel. It is used for fractions, bones, um, broken bones, wounds, feet, nervous disorders, urinary disorders, baldness, diabetes, improving the heart, liver, eyes, and lungs. Why? Because horsetail has a lot of silica in it. And silica is probably more necessary than calcium when it comes to the bones and the hair and the skin or teeth enamel. Hasset. Hasset is a natural antibiotic. The mold that produce penicillin grows on hasset leaves. It is used as a blood purifier of the eyes, kidneys, lungs, gallbladder, liver. It's excellent for insect bites, sinus congestion, childhood diseases, digestive disorders, nervous disorders, skin problems, inflammation, hoarseness, night sweats, sore throats, and etc. cetera. Hasset is a natural antibiotic. Hasset along with garlic, along with golden seal, along with chaparral. These are the most powerful natural antibiotics in the herbal kingdom. Iris sea moss, which we refer to as sea moss, or Maury sea moss, as we call it, not Irish. It is a superfood. It is excellent for thyroid health. It is good for goaters, fractions, pneumonia, obesity, bad blood, um, bad breath, jaundice, cough. It is also um, prevents and heals cancer. Kelp, which is another good um, sea vegetable. It promotes endocrine gland, um, endocrine glandular health. It controls the thyroid glands and parathyroid glands. Thus it regulates the metabolism. It is especially good for the pancreas, diabetes, um, prostate, kidneys, adrenal glands, and pituitary gland. It helps the brain to function exceptionally. So this can actually be part of the um, brain blend. As they say, fish is brain food. Well, kelp, which grows in the ocean, just like the fish do, is brain food. So you can eat the kelp and not the fish. And it does the same thing. It helps the brain function 
exceptionally well. It is not most necessary and vital, essential during pregnancy. It is extra for women morning sickness, menopause, hot flashes, um, um, basically nausea, poor digestion, constipation, skin problems, hair, nails, weight. Right, you have licorice. <clears throat> licorice is a natural hormone that replaces cortisone as well as female hormone estrogen. It is good for the adrenal glands, most commonly used in treat colds, coughs, but also great for fatigue, chronic fatigue, gastric ulcers, canker sores, abdominal pain, heart tonic, inflammation, muscle spasms, cold, emphysema, bronchitis, asthma, pneumonia, lung problems, sex stimulant is also improved complexion, hair, and vision. So licorice does it all. Matter of fact, um, you probably would want to get what is called licorice sticks and wish that you can get them in multiple flavors. Peppermint, grape, cherry, grape, uh, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Right, you have nobilia, which is the most powerful natural relaxative um, in the herbal kingdom. All right, you can take lobilia, kava kava, and valerian root. Those together will have your ass so calm, you would thought that you um, had smoked some weed. <laughs> Right, and the weed sometimes have bad side effects where it produces um, parano paranoia, annoyance. But this won't. It's excellent in removing obstructions from the bodily system, including blood vessels, veins, capillaries, and arteries. It is good for fevers, colds, congestion, bronchitis, asthma, pneumonia, um, earaches, infections, rheumatism, arthritis, and kills parasites and worms. So nobility can be mixed in with the garlic, be mixed in with the golden seal, be mixed in with the wormwood, be mixed in with the cloves, be mixed in with all of the herbs in which that has the ability to kill parasites and worms, chamomile, hops, et cetera, et cetera. This is how Dr. Sabi began to start putting his formulas together is finding which herbs act alike in the herbal kingdom and putting them together in order to formulate products. Here hey, brother, which... Yes. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Uh, which, which herbs did you see mixed with the um, lobelia? Yeah, based on what we just read about lobelia. So let's go back to it. So lobelia, as you see, is not just a powerful herb in the herbal kingdom. But as you see here, it also kills parasites and worms. So when we go back and we look at other, such as right here, hops. Hops acts as, an, acts as a natural antibiotic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you would use hops, or uh, hossip, excuse me. We also use hops, as you see here. It eliminates parasites. So we can use hops and lobelia and hossip. You can also use golden seal, as you see here. Golden seal. Oh, uh, okay. Hold on, let me go up. Golden seal. Uh... All right, there we go. We got garlic a natural antibiotic that does what? Effective against bacteria, viruses, and parasites and worms. All right. All right, there we go, golden seal. Let's, let's get to the golden seal.
and Canisius. And Canisius said to be acts as a antibiotic. Once again, so you get the foods yeah. in which they acts as an antibiotic that gets rid of parasites, bacteria, viruses from out the body, and you can combine those. Oh, okay. All right, so as you see here, golden seal is an antibiotic attention um, actions very similar to tetracycline and streptomycin. All right, graviola, as we see here is a real miracle from the rainforest. Graviola can get rid of cancer, right? The name of this sour sap. The other name of it is the Basilian pawpaw or Grabanda. And what does it do? Graviola has been praised for the ability to fight cancer and do what? Cancer cells and kill viruses, bacteria, and parasites as well. So this, Two can be utilized together in order to kill cancer, parasites, bacteria, viruses. Okay. All right, here go nettle. Nettle treats and help night sweats, um, diarrhea, baldness, dandruff, um, insect bites, hemorrhaging, bleeding, urinary problems. It helps to um, eliminate gravel and stones from any organ, especially the kidneys. It's excellent for the lymphatic system or lymph glands. So that means that nettle mixed with um, echinacea is a beautiful blend in order to remove toxins and poisons from out the bloodstream from out of the lymphatic system. Next, we have Partiyalco, which is called Tihibo. It's a natural antibiotic. So here go another antibiotic. That's what? Antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal properties. So you can mix this one with what we just talked about. It contains compounds that attacks the causes of diseases. It boosts the immune system. It gives the body the energy needed to overcome various ailments, such as anemia, Anemia, um, osteocirrhosis, um, arthritis, uh, rheumatism, um, asthma, bronchitis, leukemia, cancer, um, diabetes, skin problems, external wounds and sores, cuts, even venereal diseases, and much more. All right, next is a good one is peppermint. Yes, peppermint is a hybrid. However, it does good work. All right, it's excellent for um, childhood diseases, cold, coughs, flus, bronchitis, um, digestive disorders, diarrhea, stomach cramps, headaches, migraines, gas, insomnia, um, nightmares, muscle spasms, pain, nervous disorders, itching, dizziness, um, nausea, fever, heartburn, and heart palpitations. It helps to heal the gallbladder and the liver. You have psyllium hus. Psyllium hus. This is what it used in Metamucil. Metamucil is nothing more than mixed with um, glucose and psyllium hus. And they call that Metamucil. It is one of the best colon cleansers. It lubricates, moistens, uh, remove excessive waste, and heavy metals by acting as a bulk agent and heal the entire intestinal tract. It um, acts as a laxative to eliminate uh, constipation, um, colitis, um, divertitis, uh, 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 colitis, and uh, basically heals the colon, uterus, and hemorrhoids. All right, red clover. Red clover, when mixed with chaparral, 
right? Is a is the best is the blood purifier. It's an excellent blood purifier. It benefits the entire bodily system. Um, it has been known to restore fertility. It is especially good to calm the nerves, ease arthritis, rheumatism, and bronchitis. It helps to heal skin problems such as acne, boil use, psoriasis, as well as break down growth tumors and cancers. Red raspberry, it strengthens female organs. So you get this and um, an other herb which that is real good for a female, which is the um, queen of the herbal kingdom is Don Kwai. So Don Kwai and red clover goes excellent together as far as in a formula, herbal formula for the woman. It strengthens female organs such as uterus and um, even Damiana can be added to it. The entire reproductive system, therefore it is good to be used during the whole pregnancy. It is used for mental cramps, morning sickness, and childbirth, afterbirth, childhood diseases, nervous disorders, digestive disorder, diabetes, lactation, um, 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 leukorrhea, uh, mouth sores, canker sores, ulcers, so sore throats, eye wash, um, colds, flus, bronchitis, and fraction. All right, next is rosemary. Herb is rich in, in um, antioxidants that protects the body from free radicals and prevent cancer. It has anti-aging properties. It is increases energy levels, enhanced memory functions, and makes immune systems stronger. It can prevent infections and it's excellent for um, the digestive system. And matter of fact, it improves your memory by 70% with smelling it. And can also um, open your lungs, your capacity of your lungs, it increases the capacity of your lungs by putting it underneath your nose, all right, or under your, or on your mustache and smelling it. Sage is one of the nature's top antibiotic foods. It is beneficial to the liver, kidneys, lungs, and stomach. It is excellent for colds, sore throats, um, quinsy, or quinsy, um, measles, joint pain, Lethargy and palsy. So this bell palsy that people are getting from this vaccine, sage will help with that. Cedar wood, which is called tuja leaf, will help with that. It strengthens the nervous system, improving memory and sharpening the senses. Next is sarsaparilla root. It's beneficial to treat the inflammatory um, diseases such as bronchitis, asthma, um, is it also good for rheumatism, arthritis, joint pain? Sarsaparilla is also good to treat sexual dysfunction, um, rheumatism, and skin ailments, et cetera. Then you have sassafras. Sassafras. Um, they're trying to get people to stop using, so they claim that it has problems and issues. Sassafras and and um, sarsaparilla smells like um, root beer. Both of them smell like root beer, All right? But sassafras is purified for blood and acts as a blood thinner. So when you have blood clots, you will want something that is a blood thinner. Vitamin E is a blood thinner. Sassafras is a blood thinner, as you see here. Thus, treating high blood pressure, it helps to eliminate toxins from the body. It aids the arthritis, rheumatic, um, rheumatic uh, um, conditions. Sassafras tea is known to benefit during um, colds, flus, bronchitis. Sassafras works against gastrointestinal problems, kidney ailments, and skin disruptions or eruptions. So, a plemento. So plemento is beneficial for all the gland in the tissue, except especially the sex gland. It promotes pregnancy. It has also um, been used to increase um, the small size of, uh, of breasts. All right, it can make the breasts um, larger. It also um, acts as a regulator of hormones as well as weights, uh, weight. It is used for um, alcoholism, aphrodisiac, of, um, asthma, asthma, bladder problems, um, bronchitis, colds, diabetes, frigidity, digestion, impotency, prostate gland, mucus, 
congestion, obesity, et cetera. Then you have Cinna. Cinna is a powerful laxative acting on the intestinal walls, causing contractions that leads to bowel movement. Um, um, Cinna can gripe the stomach, depending on who is taking it. Um, it, it goes very well with Casa Negrata, as we talked about earlier. Cinna leads help to fight against microorganisms that can cause ir skin irritation, such as acne. Um, Cinna leaf is made into a paste and used as a compress to heal, help heal ringworms, all right, and other types of um, diseases, skin diseases and conditions. Next, you have slippery elm. It's used for all lung problems, asthma, bronchitis, colds, flus, hoarseness, tonsillitis, sore throat, smoking, and et cetera. It's excellent for digestive system, stomach, colon, ulcers, constipation, diarrhea, bladder, uterus, ovaries, vagina, eyes, and et cetera. St. John, St. John is excellent herb, is good for after birth, bed wetting, urinary problems, water retention, heart nervous problems, alleviated stress, gout, anemia, um, skin problems, burns, bruises, wounds, etc. It is also good for persistent mucus problems from the lungs and the bowels, all right? Valerian root. Valerian is one of the best nerve tonics. We talked about this with, um, you take lobelia and you take valerian root. Valerian root is very relaxing to the whole system. It soothes the pain and promotes sleep. Um, it has a tranquilizing uh, uh, effect similar to volume, right? It is used for convulsions, epilepsy, uh, paralysis, shock, fever, childhood diseases, digestive disorders, insomnia, fatigue, pain, sedative, heart, um, headaches, migraines, nervousness, heart, burn, heart uh, uh, problems, high blood pressure, et cetera, et cetera. Wormwood, All right? We talked about wormwood and is the herbal remedy to rid the body of pinworms, roundworms, and other parasites. It's recommended for liver and kidney problems, edema, um, anemia, and absence of the menstrual cycle. It is also good for gout, water retention, bowel flow, um, stimulation of the, um, the physiologic processes, joint inflammation, disorder, um, digestion, um, anorexic, nervia, uh, tumor, wounds, muscle springs, gallbladder dysfunction, and et cetera. Then you have yellow dock. Yellow dock is a natural antibiotic. This goes very well with the golden seal and the other chickweed, which is also another antibiotic, and other antibiotics in the herbal kingdom, such as hyacinth. Right, it is one of the best blood purifiers and blood cleansers in the herbal kingdom. <clears throat> it tunes the, body, the entire bodily system. It has been used for ears, infections, eye problems, skin problems, venereal diseases, childhood diseases, digestive disorders, pancreas disorders, um, cancer, tumors, growth, liver problems, bladder issues, gallstone, spleen problems, pituitary gland issues, gout, inflammation, and et cetera. All right, these are the most important herbs in which that we have, that we have access to in the so-called United States that we can really get our hands on. Most of this grows in your backyard, especially the dandelion, all right? Um, do you have any questions? This is just the first part. Yeah. Mm -hmm, go ahead. Yeah, brother. Yeah, I actually had I actually had a, like a few questions. One one of all, I, I took notes on um most of the herbs, but I really I really just wanted to know which herb would you recommend 
is like the is like the strongest herb um and like the best herb to take for the thyroid like the thyroid gland ma mainly the thyroid um basically the best herb to take for thyroid condition would be kelp bladder rack dulce which is not mentioned here but but that is what are which are the best okay you wait you said all right Simo, so I got, all right yeah, I kelp bladder okay. rack Seamoth, okay. kelp, bladder rack. Seamoth, kelp, bladder rack. Right. Okay. And and I also had another question, uh, mainly for mainly for men. So if um if a brother was dealing with um like a soreness or like an ache pain in the you know in the scrotum or or you know yeah or, in or the just testicle. Like, yeah, the right. Tesco. Yeah, mm -hmm. like what would be the best herbs to like you know to cleanse or or you know to at least try to like rebuild you know rebuild the uh, the testicles. The um yellow dock right here. Yellow dock. Mm -hmm. And to remove it from out the lymphatic system would be echinacea and lobelia. Echinacea. Oh, okay. All right. That's a good one. Right. And lobelia. Mm-hmm. And lobelia. Oh, okay. Lobelia right. one too. Right. Okay. Yeah. That yeah, that one is more specifically for me. Um the mm -hmm. past, I, I would say like the past probably five, six months, maybe, I've been dealing with um like an ache and a soreness feeling in my in my in testicle. The, in, the, in, in the left testicle. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Yeah, it, it's it's actually the left testicle that's more, but it's I, I get it, I actually get it in both of them, but it's right. more in the in the left. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's it comes on and off though, you know. It's like yeah, um, that's the duck. The duck is um, you need to clean out the ducks, the testicle ducks, and which that is at the back portion of the testy. That is what is going mm -hmm. on. So what has to be removed is the waste from that area. So that would be lobelia. And like I said, echinacea. You can also use this yeah, yellow dock. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, lobelia and echinacea. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, that's awesome. All right, yeah, that's great. That was that was really like one of my main questions that I wanted to ask. So I'm definitely gonna make sure that um that I get those herbs from you. I'll definitely and and those and those you have uh those are for sale like you can those are available to, yeah. uh, to order mm -hmm. right right everything is for order yep they ready oh okay awesome awesome yeah okay yep. all right yeah so I'll definitely all right so I'm gonna definitely highlight those okay and uh we'll um we're gonna be meeting here again be back um Tuesday at eight p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, 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 okay. For the next class, right? Okay, Tuesday at eight p.m. Okay, right. And we'll go over more herbs and also combining them and seeing what's the best remedies and the um, best um, combinations. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. That sounds great. That sounds really good. That that would definitely be helpful. All right. Peace, brother. All right. Thanks a lot, brother. Peace. Have a good night. You too. All right. Thanks. Bye.